This is amazing. Now we have Prison AI tools. Prison AI is a multi-agent framework which is low code. With the less code, you are able to create multiple agents to perform complex, complicated tasks. So what is the use of tools? As an example, when we ask a question, what is the latest news of New York, US? Then the AI agent or the AI assistant is going to respond saying that I don't have the real time data. But how to fix this issue? That's when we have tools. When we ask the same question, what's the latest news? Then the AI agent is going to trigger the function call or the tool call telling us to use a tool to get the latest news. Then we are going to use Prison AI tools to get the latest news and we'll send that to agent to summarize. You might think only one AI agent is enough to summarize the latest news, but the power comes when multiple agents work together. For example, we have a news analyst agent who is going to search the internet and find the latest news article, read all the content, and then send those information to the editor agent. Then the editor agent is going to summarize and prepare for publishing. And finally, the report publisher agent will finalize the news. This is the easiest way for us to read a news article and efficiently use our time. So in our use case, we are going to use news analyst agent, then that information is passed to the editor, then to the report publisher. So as an agent, we are providing with two tools. One is searching the internet tool. This is going to search Google for the top 10 results. And then the scrape tool is going to go through each individual link and read all the content from each link. Then this agent is going to send all this information to the next agent. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about Prazen AI tools. In this, we are going to see how we can get the latest news article in much more efficient, concise way using AI agents. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to install this, how to set up the tools in Prazen AI and show you the demo. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, pip install Prazen AI and then click enter. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. We are using the models from OpenAI so you can generate your key from platform.openai.com. Next, I'm going to choose a model which is GPT 3.5 Turbo. By default, it uses GPT 4 Turbo Preview but you can modify this accordingly. Now I'm going to click enter. Next, I'm going to type Prazen AI, INIT, give me the latest news about New York, US, and then click enter. This will automatically create this file, which contains news analyst, editor, and report publisher. These three are AI assistants or AI agents, which are going to get the latest news about New York. You can even modify this based on your requirement. Here you can see a tools placeholder. So this is where you add your tools. So these are the available Prazen AI tools, code search tool, CSV search tool, dark research, file read tool, GitHub search tool, Serper tool, text JSON, markdown PDF, Postgres search tool, rag tool, XML search tool, YouTube channel search tool, and YouTube video search tool. So you can use any of these tools around and build AI agents accordingly. So the required tools for our use case, the first is the Serpa Dev tool. This will go and search the internet and get the links for all the latest articles or the latest news. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here as the first tool. Next, I'm going to add another hyphen. Now in the tools list, we need scrape website tool. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it here. You can use quotes or not quotes, it'll work. Now we are ready to run agents. That's all it takes to add tools. Just tools and hyphen hyphen, that's it. Now this news analyst agent is able to search the internet, scrape the content from each URL, and then analyze and summarize current news events. Now into your terminal, praise an AI and then click enter. Now we can see the news analyst agent using the tool such as the Serpa tool and then web scrape tool to understand the list of latest news articles and reading those articles. Then it's passed to the editor. Then the editor edits accordingly. Then finally the report publisher finalizing the news article ready to be published. 
Now I'm going to use Autogen. I'm going to export the model name as GPT-4 Turbo Preview. Generally what I've tested, for Autogen you might need some advanced AI model. So I'm going to use GPT-4 and click enter. Next praise an AI hyphen hyphen framework, then Autogen. This will automatically trigger the Autogen framework. As simple as that. And then click enter. Now you can see the task is assigned to the news analyst agent. Next it's using tool call and browsing the New York Times, New York Daily News, going to those links, understanding the latest content. You can see the full content here. Then the news analysts summarize the latest content and send that to the main user. Then again, that information is sent to the editor. Then finally, the information from the editor goes to the report publisher. And finally, we get the finalized news in markdown format from New York Times, from New York Daily News, and finally it terminates. That's it. Now these old tools support OpenAI because it's used embeddings. But in the near future, I'm going to release with other embeddings as well. Do try all these tools and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. I'm also going to create a video in regards to how to create custom tools. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.